Welcome back to Gear Check Games. This is episode 23 of our Kingdom Hearts 1.5 for the PS4 playthrough. Uh, we just got done uh, taking the title from Yuffie and Leon. So now we gotta go turn into a fish. <laughs> Sorry. So Sora just like popped up saying, I think my magic is as good as Donald's now. And then just like five straight seconds of Donald with an empty text box. <laughs> well, <laughs> just had to imagine Donald was just like this punk ass kid. <laughs> I guess there's no place for me in the squad anymore, is there? Well, bye, Sora. <laughs> bye, be Donald. Mally Ma <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so Donald's like, listen, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go his become an adventurer. That was my yeah. Donald Duck. I hope you liked it. It was perfect. And that's how we got <laughs> Maui Mallard, Cold <laughs> Cold Steel the, <laughs> Cold Steel the Duck. I mean, it was nothing uh, so, personnel, but I think I now remember why um, I did that portion of Olympus Coliseum was to get that was to get a bunch of spells and level up. And that was so I could go to Merlin to get that Keyblade, because I'm using a lot of magic. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I need more magic. Yeah, you get the this... um, you get the Spellbinder once you collect like every magic spell you can have in the game, right? Yeah, once you get the base form of every spell. Yeah. I love the keychain for this Keyblade a lot. Uh -huh. And that may be my next 3D print project. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Well, I, I have some unfortunate news to break to you, Nick, but uh, the keychain is 2D. <laughs> that one actually, I don't think it was. That one looked like a model. A man can dream. It's not like <laughs> one pixel wide. I, hold on. I So, for those not in the loop, um, I'm currently dying of heat stroke. So, my, <laughs> uh, my memory is not... Uh, as the kids say, what it used to be. Oh yeah, uh, it's the beginning. It's like near the beginning of summer slash mid like mid to late spring, and your AC went out. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as AC well, hey, units maybe, are one to do. Maybe maybe you can cool off in Atlantica. That's where we're going. Oh, yeah. I would Go love take that. Take a dip in the ocean. I would love that so much. Yeah, go go on adventures with Ariel and Sebastian. <laughs> so this is this is one of those uh, Kingdom Hearts levels where instead of just giving you a new costume, they also give you a new control scheme uh -huh. and base an entire world off and of it. And it's great. <laughs> I never had any problems with the control scheme in Atlantica. Like, no, I'm I'm, I'm kind of with you, Nick. I um <laughs> I I've never been in love with this coming level, but I've also never been in the camp of like, oh, it's the worst thing I've ever seen, like, I can't play this. It's just, like, I, I, I appreciate the idea of it, and I think it's fine, yeah. but it just kind of it's has some un unfortunate, um, unintended side effects that hamper the gameplay in other ways. So, um, but... I think if I remember... Oh. Oh, I think, ahead. um... I've always, I, I've never not done this world, but I think this world is actually optional to like reach the final boss. Is it? Oh. Yeah, I think I uh, think so. I mean, correct be. me if I'm wrong, by all means, but like I think this world that is this and Olympus correct. Coliseum are the only two worlds that are, well, and Hundred Acre Wood, but that's kind of a yeah side. So world. is Atlantica optional in both games? Then uh, I think it is. Yeah. But uh. Wait. Yeah, I may be biased towards Atlantica because 14-year-old me had a massive crush on Shark Sora uh, that he <laughs> wouldn't admit to himself, but uh, I've always liked this level. I was I was there for the crab. I think my issue had always been that, the, like uh, some other levels in this game, the world was just kind of like confusingly laid out. Yeah. Than, like, you don't really... You're not really... It's not really clear where you're supposed to go to progress the story, and uh, oh yeah, now we've also got three dimensions of finding your way to worry about, mm -hmm. yeah. and the level's also like kind of dark. Yeah, it kind of has the um, 
the banjo tui problem in some areas of like here's a big open area with some cave entrances around it find your way yeah like once you get to the point where you're not like following the arrows anymore it's just like good luck yeah. hope you remember where everything is yeah which I, hole do uh, i go in to move the story forward yeah. i had to game facts quite a bit of atlantica at the local library and printed out for 25 cents a page wait no the library was 10 cents nick a page. spent money to beat this game uh <laughs> and bring it at home if it wasn't gifted to you most everyone did <laughs> yeah that's that's very true but like i get it though because there are some portions like you said where the order of what you're supposed to do next doesn't make sense. You're like, well, I've already been to Ariel's Grotto. <laughs> All right, I've already been to King Triton. Why do I have to go back there a second time? What's that? No one told me I, I should go back to there. Go to this weird corner of the map to get the shark to do something. Or they'll yeah, tell you like you some really vague clue where it's like, I think the worst one is when um, after Ursula steals the trident, and you have to go yeah. to her lair. Um, the solution to that is to go back to the sunken ship area and have Sebastian press a button behind a, um, yeah. like a ship. Because he's not with you the first time you go to that area. <laughs> but, like, if you investigate that prior to, um, prior to having Sebastian with you and after, the, like, before, the, before those events take place, it's just basically, like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure clicking on that um, switch just triggers like a question mark or just yeah. like this is odd yeah I think it's a, a, a little blurb that says man if only I could reach that button yeah <laughs> it's like yeah that'd be great why can't I stick my key key in there and bonk the button uh huh <gasps> probably not the best time to be saying that <laughs> <laughs> well um even Sora's nervously laughing <laughs> uh, well yeah we get we get treated to one of uh, Jody Benson's latest performances of Ario. Mm. I do latest, like this. This is nearly get... 20 years old. Well, yeah, but <laughs> it's also one of the most recent times that she's done <laughs> Ariel in a project. Yeah. Because Ariel hasn't been in a lot of projects. I think the only thing after this that I can think of is Wreck It Ralph 2. Didn't well, no, uh, didn't yeah. one of the direct to video sequels <laughs> come out after this? Maybe. Oh, was it the third one? Yeah. God. I forget the one so, that's like all about her kid. I think the second one is the one where her daughter wanted to have. Yeah, fans. it's the same exact movie in reverse. Uh, yeah. With Ursula's crazy sister. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So, also, I don't think I noticed when I was a kid, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny that uh. Sora's just hella nervous and like awkward when he first comes here because uh, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure this is the first time he's seen a girl without a shirt on. Also, oh. uh, this, uh, that keychain is definitely in three dimensions, by the way. What it's, is it? Is oh, it's it a just a book. book? I thought yeah, it was a just Game a Boy book. for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a bit random. Yeah. It's the instruction manual for the keyblade. It's the instruction manual for swimming. <laughs> It's the oh, enclosed God. instruction book. So yeah, what we just did was uh, learn the controls. The only thing you're supposed to do is swim around and tag Flounder a bunch. Mm -hmm. They're like, alright, you know how to move, so now go fight. Sebastian's gonna teach Sora underwater judo. He's gonna teach him how to press X. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one of the silly things about this world, is like he teaches you how to move around, but once you target something and just moves, Sora will swim directly to it, be yeah. it above or below him. Thankfully, like, can you imagine if they didn't have that? This would be a much uh, more frustrating uh, <laughs> world to navigate. Yeah, I guess that is one of the positives of of this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and I actually like as a whole. Like, I still don't mind this level. It's just the combination of all the first like. Kind of frustrating things mm -hmm. that like kind of puts a put, puts a scar on it. Yeah, the so, uh, the, the three the three major issues f for me are like the kind of esoteric progression, which is just kind of a Kingdom yeah. Hearts one problem. 
Yeah. The visuals, which, like... Like, there are some areas of Atlantica that look really beautiful and nice, but a lot of it is just kind of, like, these blue, rocky, like, canyons, which yeah. is just, like... I, I don't know. Like, that's... I when, I when I think of, like, the Little Mermaid movie, I don't think of just, like, rocks... <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know, there's a more there's more color to it than that. Um, I mean, they are hanging out on the bottom of the ocean where it would just be a bunch <laughs> of. <laughs> we really are getting rid of Donald. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Goodbye, Donald. It's like, uh, Donald. You have an awkward octopus bottom half. I think we're I think we're gonna leave you leave you on the bench for this one, right? I I Sorry, think man. this is one of the few worlds that doesn't have Trinity marks anyway. Uh, no, it, it does has have a yellow one Trinity white mark outside Trinity. of. There's Triton's there's Palace. A, yes. Yeah. Okay. There's that one, but that's like it. <laughs> I and you don't even have the a... ability to get it yet. Wait, no. There's not a red Trinity mark. It's just near the Trinity mark. There are some red shells. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, which Shark Boy do you think more fourteen-year-olds had a crush on, Taylor Lautner or Haley Joel Osment? I, I had a crush on Bruce from the film Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, the, the real the Jaws. Jaws right. Right. Not the. Was, uh, don't tell my parents they're disappointed in me in, in, enough in me as it is. Mm-hmm. Not the Finding was, Nemo one. Yeah, what was Jack Black's character in Shark Tale? Uh, oh Lenny. god. <laughs> the the vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, Lenny, the shark who would be a dolphin. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't they like make fun of him for for acting like a dolphin? Well, they disguise him as a dolphin to allow him to live in the city. Oh, yeah. So, these little jellyfish are another heartless that I am very sad got another a new form. Wait, like, don't like the yellow jellyfish? Were... No, they were... They're supposed to be blue. I like them yellow. They stick out better. But so, not in, like, a ugly true. sort of way. It looked a <laughs> lot just now like you just shotgunned, uh... Goofy in the face <laughs> with a fireball spell. <laughs> It'd be funny if Sora didn't recognize Donald and Goofy as themselves in these like undersea <laughs> disguises. Oh god. So <clears throat> everything you get out of these shells, like all the items, some of them it's like 50-50. Some of them are real easy. And some of them you just have to like get like the perfect angle at uh-huh. there's like no rhyme or reason yeah. as to how you're supposed to grab mm-hmm. the item it's like how I about am- when you open the shell it just gives it to you why do you have to yeah. physically mm-hmm. go and collect it i also love that all of them have an examine option but mm-hmm. none uh-huh. of them are opened by examining them yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what the- and they also close up after you collect the item and so you can't really tell which ones you've already gotten mm-hmm. the item out yeah, of. Yeah, thank you, was Dan. I was, you know what? I just realized I was going to list three problems earlier, but that could be my fourth one. Or yeah, my third I one, think I, I spent, haven't listed like, the third one yet. The mm-hmm. fact that the clamshells close up after you've collected the treasure, making it very confusing as to which ones mm-hmm. you've opened and which ones you haven't, unless you're paying close attention. I think yeah, I spent well, you like. You pretty much uh, need to print up a map of this place at your local library yeah. and mark off all the shells. For 25 cents a copy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's 10 cents for black and white, 25 cents for color. Yeah. Uh, well, thankfully this is a very monochrome was. world, so... <laughs> yeah, fortunately we'll here, all you need is blue. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... But, yeah, I think I spent, like, 30 minutes outside of Triton's Palace, uh, when I was playing this, just, like, checking the shells to remember which one I hadn't opened. <laughs> Also, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting re- real sick of these, like, ghost pumpkin guys or whatever. They put them in worlds they don't feel like they should be in. They're just, like, mm. fodder. It's like, oh, let's let's make yeah. the battles go... We need to make the battles go long in this world. I just put those ghost guys from Monstro. Hmm. Like, yeah. this isn't even well, the last world they appear in. They're in the freaking Halloween Town world as well. Which ostensibly yeah. should be the only world that they're in. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get, I don't understand why they didn't just design another monster for especially for this version a better monster one that isn't so, just yeah. occasionally like I'm just gonna like phase out of existence and you can't attack me so yeah there you go yeah they're a lot like the 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 basic shadow guys that you fight but just well, that's not more entirely fair well Sometimes the, the, for, they for the shadows it. it's more of just like a long dodge it's not like oh I'm just gonna go invulnerable for like like five seconds. Mm. 
honestly, they probably put these guys in this level because just purely because they needed like they felt like they needed another enemy type here, but didn't want to make a new like water They're enemy. The ghosts of all so the they, Atlantica citizens that turned into heartless. Yeah. So they just put in the only other enemy in the game that can just like float around without like it looking weird doing it underwater instead of in the air. Now if you use stop on all three of those guys, it triggers one of the uh, unique heartless for final mix. The I think it's called oh. the pink agaricus. It's basically oh. just a giant one of those guys, but you have to... I forget exactly what his trick is, but I think you have to like use stop on him and then hit him a certain number of times before he unfreezes to oh, get... Oh yeah, like, an you idea. have to like combo yeah. him. Yeah. So, uh, I've spent the last maybe 14 and a half minutes trying to come up with a way to make a joke about how the fish in the bowl is lucky. They say from a worser <laughs> fate, the fish out the bowl ain't lucky on some... Er, I don't know. Somebody else's plate, etc. You know. Beyond the plate. Yeah. What but are you? Are you already sick of the background music? It's I, just, yeah. I, there we I go. Thank you. Segway. Problem number four. <laughs> you know. You know. Nothing against Alan Menken and nothing against Under the Sea. It's a bop. Like no doubt about it. But it's a great song. Did not to hear. It, did not need to hear it on loop for several hours mm -hmm. while trying to complete this world. Well, also the same, like, three measures over and over and uh -huh. over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, if you listen, you know, if you listen to the real song, it has, like, multiple verses with different lyrics, but since this is just music, it's like, here's the same loop, like, again and you again know. of this incredibly, yeah. like, earworm, catchy music. Lyrics this is... about how the, uh, the carp plays the harp, the... <laughs> Something plays the flute. I can't for the, the life of me plays the that. flute? Is it a newt? I think it. Yo, yeah, yeah, it is a newt. I, mean, I remember noticing that because, like, why is there a newt in the yeah, sea? Yeah, why is the newt underground? What's he doing under the sea? <laughs> Just hanging out, I guess. Yeah, there used to be uh, saltwater newts, didn't there? Mm. Back way, way back, millions of years well, ago. Well, I don't well, think those I were mean, newts. I think those were just like large amphibians. Mm. Yeah, like newts are generally amphibious, mm. and so. Typically, amphibious creatures don't spend their time in the deep sea. You know what, though? For as grating as this song gets after a while... Like, it's not bad at first. It's pretty... I was kind of humming along at first, but then when I was like, okay, where the heck do I go now? It started to get to me. But this is not the worst example of repetitive <laughs> Disney-adapted background music in a Kingdom Hearts game. And I've not beaten Birth by Sleep, but I can tell you right now... That Cinderella world is a gauntlet. Because <laughs> the, the background music is just like a very short loop of this yeah, it, very like lethargic rendition of Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. So it's just like... Because the only thing that it plays is... And like that level is already is enough of a trip because they they shrink you down to like mouse size for some reason. Oh yeah, isn't your partner character supposed to be Gus Gus and the other one? Yeah, or, or oh, what's the I don't remember all the mice's red names. Mouse's name again? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the Jack Jack. Some it's it's Jack yeah, Jack. Yeah. Okay. Some Sorry, part of my syllables. brain. Cylorinda. <laughs> Freudian slip. <laughs> Excuse me, could My you apologies. direct me to the nearest Cylorinda castle that you have? Um, Cylorinda castle. But, um, but now, I, some part of my brain really wants to say that the one that's not Gus Gus is named Emilio, but that's definitely not true. <laughs> He's like the one, um, like, cultured mouse. <laughs> See, this area, this is what the whole world should have looked like, I think. Like, with yeah. some, like, architecture and color. Or at least more of it. Contextualize it. It's, like, Atlantica uh, frustrates me because there are, like, a few rooms in it that look... Not like this, but they have, like, a really strong visual identity. And it's just like, why did you make all of these nice assets for one room? Yeah, don't they reuse, <laughs> like, all these assets for the two rooms that are in Atlantica in Kingdom Hearts 2? I mean, they might reuse some of it, but I remember Atlantica looking a lot nicer in the second game. They also only had, like, two rooms to, right. to, to design. Yeah, they didn't have to make I, a giant undersea gorge. 
So before we get away from it, I have always loved this parallax PNG of the path leading up to Triton's castle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I love... Because even before it was HD, you can very cleanly see... Uh, very plainly see the delineation between where it's a model and where it's yeah. a parallax mm -hmm. PNG. As Trey is like, demonstrating. Thank you, Pastor yeah. Trey. <laughs> I'm surprised, though. There's no... Uh, yeah, like, this I, is basically... Are you, uh, are you looking for the VHS cover? Was that what <laughs> I am you looking were doing? for the VHS cover. <laughs> <laughs> I do not uh, see it. No, the, the whoever designed that background didn't want to get fired like that guy did, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. So, when can we trade out our Keyblade for um, a Trident? Yeah, what as soon as King you Triton pry it out of King Triton's world? cold dead mm -hmm. hands. Uh. <laughs> What's Ariel gonna do? Spin it, people? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I. I think I know the She's requirements. She's headstrong, she thinks she, so she torpedoes her head at enemies. She thinks she is Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> I think someone with an 8-pack is the only person allowed to wield the trident. And that's why Sora can't wield the trident yet. Or he doesn't even have a 6-pack! say, someone uh, named Sira, perhaps? Uh, Sira? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You can see her, she's pulling the strings from behind the curtain. <laughs> now, I mentioned in the last part recently rewatching Little Mermaid and being kind of struck by how rubbery the animation is. And I gotta say, the rubberiest character of them all, weirdly, <laughs> is King Triton. Oh yeah. Oh god, Goofy just swam right through Donald. It's like, what is your body made of, dude, <laughs> to the, where you are this flexible? What's what's more disturbing, the rubberiness or the camera effects of being that they added to simulate being underwater? Oh yeah, because <laughs> that's like honestly, I know I just played the game like a month ago, uh -huh. but it just to, to look at it from outside, it's kind of like sickening. All right, so like, it's kind of nauseating. <laughs> let me pose this one to you, uh, and it's relevant to the last two episodes. Which is more uh, dis? Uh, um, not good to look at. My brain is dying of heat stroke. Uh, disgusting. Um, no, <laughs> neither of those were I was looking for. Uh, which is more painful to look at? King Triton without his beard and mustache? Or bald King Triton or bald Zeus? <laughs> See, bald, bald Zeus is just silly. I forget what bald King Triton looks like, but I can never forget bald Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a little so, peg on a stick. So King Triton so, is one of the few characters in Kingdom Hearts to actually be aware of the separation of the worlds and there being keyholes. Oh yeah, he's I like liked that. that. Yeah, because it's like he's a god. Yeah. He knows about that shit. Because uh -huh. he's the king. Just like in the well, movie, King Triton is the only sympathetic character. He's like. I a, mean, don't get me wrong. He's a god. complete asshole in the movie. Wait. But... There's one more sympathetic character I think you're forgetting. Louis the uh, Chef. Ursula. No, Prince uh, Eric's um, like oh, butler. Grimsby. God. Grim yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, on the brain. I, 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 I know these things. Oh, man. <laughs> that, we may have to link to that comic. <laughs> We're not. Every time I hear that name. That's very un PG 13. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I think uh, I missed something. <laughs> Grimsby, she has eight legs. <laughs> oh. Eight legs, Grimsby. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now I understand. Oh, yeah. I mm. really had to get a good look at his abs because I am jealous as heck. <laughs> like, I I need to wield the Triton. It's just so... flab, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Watch how King Triton went from flab to fab in eight easy steps. He just photographs well, all right? It's a lie. It's all a lie. <laughs> It's just a photograph on his abs. That one's <laughs> actually literally true. But um, with, with with the Triton, with the Trident, he magically made a, a universal law that any camera pointed at him will instantly give him a six pack and make him shirtless, no matter what he's wearing. I wish I had a Trident. <laughs> that would be very confusing for a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> true. <laughs> well, be a okay we with me. We will continue the quest for the keyhole in episode 24. Bye. Yeah. Bye, all.